guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video goes out to nine-year-old me who thought it was really cool to make dresses out of my brother's button-up shirts because that's exactly what we're doing today. So today is going to be more of a thrift flipping type of video because I'm going to try to make a pinafore dress out of this plaid button-up shirt that I took from my little brother. Um, he grew out of it so I'm a little nervous that it's going to be too small to make this project but I really really want to give it a shot. And button-ups are obviously something you can totally get through and button-ups are totally <laughs> and button-ups are obviously something you can totally get from this <laughs> my god I cannot talk today that's so funny <laughs> and button-up shirts are obviously something you can totally get from thrift stores for like pretty cheap nailed it so I took this blue one from my little brother and I'm just really hoping that we have enough fabric here so the very first thing I'm going to be doing on this project is cutting off the sleeves so the sleeves are going to be what I use to make the little straps of the pinafore and the skirt is going to be made from the entire body piece so I'm just going to go ahead and cut those very close to the seam. So I went ahead and took my trusty scissors and cut the sleeves off of the shirt. And it's always very nerve-wracking to me, like cutting into like a piece of clothing that I didn't make myself. It's just like a little nerve-wracking, but it's for the greater good. After that, I took some measurements and wanted to get a little bit more length out of it, so I decided to seam rip the yoke of the shirt off. And I had to snip a few pieces of it, but it was totally fine. After that, I cut the shoulder seams and the collar off of the shirt so that we were left with this nice big body piece to work with. Next up, I seam ripped the cuff of the sleeve, which was a pretty easy process, and I was also going to seam rip the button placket of the sleeve off, but it ended up being very, very tricky, so I just ended up leaving it because I was feeling too lazy to do that. And then I folded the sleeve in half and cut down both of the sides so we would have two panel pieces. And then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other sleeve. And we're going to use the sleeves to make the straps of the pinafore. So I took one of the sleeves without the button placket and I folded it in half so that all the stripes of the shirt would line up because we're not working with a very straight piece. And then I brought out my pins and marked a slightly curved line into the panel. So at the top of the curve it should be just barely even in the fabric and at the ends it should be about half an inch away from the edge. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other strap as well, but you're going to make sure that it is the mirror of the one you just made. And after we pinned both of those, I took the pieces with the button plackets and I decided to just cut the button placket out to make my life a little easier. And then I again folded it in half the same way. And instead of doing a curved line this time, I just went ahead and did a straight line where the bottom of it is hardly being sewn at all. And the top is sewn right where we cut out the button placket. So it should go in slightly. And after you pin all of those, you should have four pieces that are ready to go to the sewing machine. And we're just going to do a regular straight stitch down all of the seams that we just pinned. And now here's some sewing machine ASMR for you guys. literally since yesterday like sir I don't mind you being here I'm just like you guys have anything better to do hello sir how are we doing today his name is Fred I just named him Fred and now back to our regularly scheduled program okay so now that all those pieces are sewn I'm going to take one of our front pieces and one of our back pieces and at the top where it's smaller I'm going to sew them together so I'm going to line up their seams so that they are even and I'm going to pin it here and then I'm just going to go ahead and sew across the top on both of these. I'm also going to go ahead and serge all of the raw edges so that they don't unravel but like I always say you guys can either do a zigzag stitch or a French seam and there's other alternatives if you don't have a serger. Also, I don't know why, but my serger is literally always broken. I fix it basically like once every time I sew with it. She's just, she's got a lot going on, you know? At least with how many times this thing is broken down, I'm like an expert at re-threading sergers now. So right now I'm just trying on the skirt and right now I have it in the front with the buttons going down and I basically just pinned up the hem so that it wouldn't be like the curved edge because I want it to be nice and straight so that it doesn't look like a shirt. I also pinned up the armholes and honestly I'm seeing the vision now. I have hope for this. I'm just not sure if I want to keep the buttons down the front as a little detail 
or if I should turn it around to the back. I think the back looks a lot more like sleek and a lot less like a shirt, but I do think the buttons are kind of a cute detail. And I was also thinking about maybe taking off the tops of the buttons and then just leaving like these little pockets because I think it might be really cute. I'm going to just lay the straps on right now so we can kind of see it better. Like, I think, I think it's working. I think it's coming together. This might be really cute. So right now I think the game plan is I'm going to try to do something with all of this and I'm going to make this the front. And then I was also thinking about adding like a little slit here. So I'm excited about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seam rip the button placket so that it's completely gone. So it looks like the way this one is actually made is that this piece, they didn't cut it separately, but it was actually folded into this. So actually, if I seam rip this, I should have a bunch of fabric here, which would make this super, super easy. I am so happy about this. And it's a good thing I was now very motivated to seam rip this button placket because seam ripping this took me so long. Honestly, like one of the best parts of thrift flipping shirts is literally just like, yay, free buttons. After it was fully seam ripped, I decided that now was the best time to cut the hem of the skirt. So I just went ahead and followed the lines on the skirt to get a very nice and straight hem because I thought that having the rounded hem would make it look a lot more like a shirt. And then after that was done, I folded the skirt in half and I pinned the two panels of the skirt just nice and straight together. And then you're just going to go ahead and sew that straight together, leaving about eight inches from the top so we can add in a zipper later. And I decided to sew the sides of the skirt as well where I had previously pinned it. So next up, it is time to seam rip the pockets. I'm just going to take them off. Okay, so now we are going to work on the skirt a bit more. And so right now it is a lot bigger than our waist at the top. So I'm going to add in some darts in the back. So I'm going to take one half of the skirt and I'm going to fold that in half, so a quarter of it. And I'm going to mark out a dart down one of the plaid lines. And I want this about six inches apart from each other, so I'm going to go about three inches out and then add in a dart. And I'm going to base these stitches and then try it on to make sure I like them. The skirt is sitting a lot better now. The darts in the back really helped, but I think I just want to add two little baby ones in the front as well. I just want them to be super small so that it just sits a little bit better at our waist right here. So these darts were again pretty easy. I just folded the skirt down one of the pleats again and added in a dart that was about four inches long and took in about an inch in the waist. And you're going to make two on either side of the front. And the next thing to do is I'm going to hem the pinafore straps. So right now the shoulder seam is a lot bigger than I want it to be. So I'm going to fold it in half and cut it so it is even on both sides. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hem both sides of the straps. I just went ahead and pinned the straps to the skirt just so we can see what it looks like. And to do this, I put the two front ones so that they would meet right in the center, and the two back ones so that when we put in the zipper, they would also meet in the back. And I really like the position and feel of them, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just sew them. So you basically just fold them over onto the skirt, and I'm going to sew them right across here with a pretty big seam allowance so that we can also finish the top edge of the skirt. So now that the straps are sewn on, I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom edge of them. And then I'm just going to hem the top edge of the skirt all the way around to give us that finished seam. Now I'm just going to take an invisible zipper, and mine is super, super long, I know, but I'm just going to cut it, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to put it very carefully down the back of the skirt so that the pinafore straps will line up together. And now to finish up the zipper, I'm just going to take the little edges and fold them behind, do a few stitches there. Then I'm also going to put some stitches across the bottom of the zipper where I don't need the length and then just cut it off. And now the very last detail I want to add to this dress is I really want to add in a little slit. 
So I marked out where I want it to be while it was on me, and I also cut out this little strip of fabric, and this part I just cut out from the collar that we're not going to use. And I'm going to lay the skirt down flat, and luckily this dress has lines, so it's kind of easy to follow a nice straight line for a slit. And I'm going to pin this strip of fabric we cut out right where I want my slit to be. And now I want it to stop right up here, so I'm basically just going to make a V going down both sides of it, and when I get to the top, I'm just going to pivot and go down the other side. And now I'm very carefully going to cut this right down the center. And I'm going to cut all of these edges pretty close next to the seam. And I'm going to fold these edges in and do a little tiny hem right here. And at the top I'm just going to very carefully make it go down the other side. And now the very last thing to do is to hem it. So I'm just going to cut the bottom a little bit and then do a little hem on it. And my first pinafore ever is finally done! I am so excited about this and I cannot wait to show you guys how good it turned out. And here is the finished pinafore dress! Honestly, when I started this project, I wasn't sure how well it was going to work and if I was going to have enough fabric with this little shirt, but I am so happy with how this turned out, you guys. I like kind of impressed myself with this one. I really don't think it looks like a shirt at all anymore, and I think it was just such a great way to repurpose that piece of clothing. I just wish it was summertime so it was a little bit more of an appropriate weather to wear it in because I was kind of freezing outside, but at least I looked super cute while doing so. I hope you guys liked this little thrift flipping tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you guys give it a shot too. And I will see all you lovely people of the internet next time. Bye!